Inspector Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. Godfrey, Mr. Enak Krishna Kumar, Mr. Alex, alumni members, teaching and non teaching staff and students. Today is a great occasion for us in which two stepping stones for the development of our department are taking place. Our department is known to the outside world through two aspects. Number one is the reputation of our alumni in their professional field. And number two, the journal Ships Technique which is published by the students of this department yearly. This year we have given a facelift to the journal with 17 technical articles and full color edition. This will make our journal in par or even above the standard of the international journals in naval architecture. I take this opportunity to congratulate the SNAS members, especially the outgoing SNAS secretary, Mr. Shiju, for their efforts in this venture. On this occasion, I have a small suggestion to make. Even though the contents of this journal have much more value added than any other international journal, it is still viewed as a student's journal. Instead of a student's journal, if we publish this journal under the name of the department, alumni and students together, it will have much more face value than the present status. Secondly, our university took a decision recently to give special emphasis to the relationship with alumni. It was further decided to make developmental activities with the cooperation of the alumni. In line with this decision, I have been in constant touch with our alumni for the last six months. The response was tremendous. Our department requires so many developmental activities such as building modernization, office modernization, classroom modernization, library modernization, lab modernization, teaching aids modernization, etc. I circulated these requirements among our alumni and Mr. Aina Krishna Kumar came forward with the first offer of financial support of rupees 1 lakh for our department ground floor tiling. This was followed by Dr. Rahim of NKK with uh, rupees 2.5 lakhs for office modernization. With his help, we received a gift of latest books in naval architecture, uh, worth 4.5 lakhs from Oshima Shipyard. At the same time, we received aid from 27th batch for an LCD projector, 20th batch for drawing tables repair, computers and accessories from individuals like uh, Mr. Sohan Roy, Mr. Anil Das, etc. The Global Dost alumni offered to make a department garden and its upkeeping. The fencing work will start soon, so after that we will have a, a beautiful garden in front of our department. Now discussions with various other batches are still go ongoing. However, we still have to work for the implementation of these developments. For example, the estimation by our engineering department for the ground floor tiling is rupees 4 lakhs. If we can raise another 1.5 lakhs apart from the offer what Mr. Enar has given, we can expect support from the university for the remaining fund. This is what I have, I have, I have had a discussion yesterday with uh, our finance officer and he said if we can raise a part of it, the university will be very glad to put in uh, the additional amount whatever is required. We have surplus money in our DDF which came through the consultancy work of faculty members. We have also surplus money in the SNAS account which came through the advertisements in our journal. <coughs> if we all contribute together, our first project of ground floor tiling can be completed. The second project is the office modernization for which we have already received sponsorship for 2.5 lakhs. In a similar fashion, we can carry out developmental activities in a phased manner. I think uh, there is no point in going to the university fully for financial support because university is also having financial tightness. But if we can generate fund from other ways, partly, and then approach the university, I think that will work out. I take this opportunity to request our university authorities, alumni members, faculty members, and students to contribute whatever they can do for the development of our department. We are honored today by the presence of two distinguished guests, Dr. Godfrey, who took charge recently as our PVC. He is a well-known scientist. He became famous through the red rain phenomena. I think maybe, sir, you can explain it. What is this phenomenon? So, uh, on behalf of the department, I welcome him to this function. Mr. N. R. Krishna Kumar is from the first batch, Director of Operations, South Asia, region of Dednoski Veritas. He was the first SNAS secretary and the brain behind the birth of Ships Technique, our journal. 
there is no other apt person other than him for the release of this year's edition of our journal. On behalf of the department, I welcome him to this function. Mr. Alex from the second batch did the organizing of bringing the senior alumni members to this function. He is representing the largest alumni in UAE. On behalf of the department, I welcome him to this function. We have got uh, other uh, senior alumni sitting here, like uh, Professor Anders Subramaniam from IIT Madras, yes. Mr. Sohan Roy, uh, then who else is there? Uh, Mr. Simon is expected to come. Last but not least, I welcome all members of the alumni teaching and non-teaching staff and students to this function. Thank you very much.